Welcome to Wildlife Wednesday. I've heard people say if it walks like a duck, quacks like a duck, it's a duck. It's not really that simple. And hunters need to make quick decisions in the field to be successful. All right, let's dive in and dabble in the world of ducks. When learning the basics of duck identification, we need to start by breaking them into two main categories. That's diving ducks and dabbling ducks. So some of the things that you need to do to separate those two categories out, uh, if you can take a look here, we have a dabbling duck. You can see that the feet, the legs, are in the middle of its body. That makes it easy to walk around on land. And you can see over here on the diving duck, its legs are very far in the back of its body and specialized for diving underwater, going very deep in the water to find its food. If you take a look at their wings, there's some differences too. You can see this bird here, the diver. In relation to its body, it's got really small wings. And then when you take a look over here at the dabbler, you can see that it's got really large wings. Another thing about the wings that you'll notice is the wings on dabbling ducks, they have these colorful speculums. So you'll see beautiful colors. This one here, uh, blue and purple on a mallard. And then you can see here, I have a blue winged teal, just like this bird, and then bright blue shoulder patch. And it has a green iridescent speculum on this. And with the divers, their wings are much smaller and drab brown and gray colors. All right, now that we've learned the basics, let's see how we can apply this to the hunting world. So if we're targeting dabbling ducks, like teal and mallards and things like that, we'll put our decoys closer to the shore and that's because their legs are on their body so they can walk around on the shore. And they float higher in the water uh, than our diver ducks. You can see the diving ducks over here. I put those further out in the water and their bodies, they actually float a little lower in the water. If you were to spook any of these ducks and they had to fly away, uh, the dabbling ducks would shoot straight up in the air with their larger wings, they can do that. And the diver ducks, when spooked, they run across the water pitter-pattering as they take off because they have smaller wings. Another difference that you'll notice between diving and dabbler ducks is you'll see the way that they feed. Dabbling ducks, while they're feeding, they basically just tilt their butt up in the air and dabble around. Diving ducks, when they go down to feed, they disappear entirely out of sight, may stay down for a couple minutes. We're barely quacking the lid open on this duck ID thing. There's so much to learn. Um, not to mention their calls. Some ducks quack, others whistle, some grunt. They fly different, they have different habitats, different silhouettes, much more to learn. Uh, when you're at Fish, Wildlife and Parks and you buy your waterfowl license, you can request a Ducks at a Distance Guide. That can be a good place to start and help you with your duck identification. Thanks for coming to another Wildlife Wednesday and good luck this next waterfowl season.